Recently, Game of Thrones actor Emilia Clarke opened up about undergoing emergency procedures due to brain aneurysm. But many are not aware that it's not an uncommon condition. Roughly 76,000 to up to 2 lakh new cases of brain aneurysm are reported in India each year. To understand the condition and its signs, we have with us Dr. Gaurav Goyal, Director and Head, Institute of Neurosciences, Medanta Hospital. Welcome to E-Times Lifestyle, Dr. Gaurav. Would you like to start by telling us what exactly is brain aneurysm? The first thing, uh, Emilia Clark is not the only celebrity <coughs> to have got these aneurysms. There are a lot of them. Actually, it's such a common disease and we typically say that every one in 100 person will have this. So aneurysms, what happens is they are what we call swelling of the blood vessel. It's an abnormal swelling of the blood vessel which forms like a balloon or a bubble and when eventually these balloons or bubbles they burst they cause severe brain hemorrhage or brain bleeding as we call uh, recently tv actor deepesh bhan died due to brain hemorrhage there are discussions that it happened because of over exercising and all of that i spoke to some cardiologist i spoke to a neurologist and there were discussions about aneurysm how mm-hmm. it can stay dormant and a sudden pressure or an incident or something flares it up and you know the outcomes can be fatal. What do you have to say about this? So this is absolutely true and you know if so we see aneurysms day in and day out this is like our most common patients what we see in our practice and typically this is what I tell my patients that you know uh, when this aneurysms they burst so one third they just die on the spot so some people might just collapse while having their tea coffee eating food in their sleep and it bursts and it takes the life Mm -hmm. there are one third of patients who are able to reach hospital but they are paralyzed they are in coma they are on ventilator and only one third are in good clinical shape like able to understand talk and discuss about their treatment plan Mm -hmm. but it's very common in our emergency department to see patients being rushed to that he was okay he was just sitting and he collapsed and we brought him to emergency and by the time we could do the scan see that his brain hemorrhage is already gone right Mm -hmm. so this sudden death is a very common feature of these brain aneurysms i was reading about it yesterday is there any way any you know checkups that you would recommend we do go through our regular checkups which we believe is just your thyroid and you know diabetes etc etc This is something people don't pay attention to. Absolutely. So it's only in India that people don't pay attention to. I'm sorry to say. Uh-huh. So so typically what happens is uh, if you look at the Indian health checkup system, it's predominantly designed around blood test and to a large extent around cardiac disease that we right. do a TMT and echo and maybe a coronary CT angiography and things like that. But for a brain point of view, we just do a carotid Doppler, which is the screening of the neck vessels, which will not show whether a person is having the aneurysm or not. Mm -hmm. So the way to detect those aneurysms is to do an MRI and MR angiography, which is a non-invasive thing, absolutely safe, but yes, of course, is slightly expensive. Okay. So the pattern has changed so much that uh, uh, 20 years, 30 years back, uh, our Western colleagues, like in Europe or US, they will see a lot of ruptured aneurysms. And mm-hmm. today, now they hardly see a ruptured aneurysm because most of the aneurysms are diagnosed preemptively on MRI and MR angiography, wow. or maybe as some situation CT angiography. So, while in our practice we see 80% of the aneurysms which have bursted or ruptured, and only 20% they come into screening they have the exact reverse statistics that only 20% or less they see as ruptured and most of them are unruptured because of timely screenings because of timely screenings so there uh, any headache anything they get screened by MRI maybe for medical legal purpose or whatever but Mm -hmm. they do get screened these aneurysms get picked up and then they are treatable we have minimally excess ways to treat these aneurysms so they are very treatable and it's a paradigm shift which we have seen in last 15-20 years which has happened in the western countries unfortunately we have not been able to create that sort of an awareness in our Indian population Mm -hmm. 
so doctor what are the conditions when you would recommend someone to go in for such scan okay so uh, most of the time you have to understand these aneurysms are asymptomatic like you and me can be harboring an aneurysm and we will never come to know about it because they are just sitting there and uh, until unless they start to grow or they are in a very big size that they start to compress on one particular nerve or a one particular area of the brain and then we can get us symptoms mm-hmm. so typically large aneurysms they will give symptoms like pain behind the eye or you are seeing double or your speech gets affected or you are not able to walk properly or coordination gets affected or you are getting headaches Mm-hmm. the headaches is some sort of a warning which the body gives to you so if somebody is having frequent occasional headaches mm-hmm. 99% it will be a migraine or something else but if you start screening all the patients with headache you will be surprised how many aneurysms can be you know detected in preemptive stage that's interesting that is something i mean this we should spread this word and everyone should know about it because so many casualties can be avoided if time yes. is that done yes. i can't i can't thank you enough for saying this like this is absolutely essential and uh, it's it's super common disease it's such a common disease and almost more than a lakh patients get a brain hemorrhage due to aneurysm just in india alone that's a big figure yeah hmm. Thank you so much doctor. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Ma'am.